Are my brothers gonna hate the way I'm dressed now? Uh, they're both huge Barcelona fans. Hello and welcome to the third part of this review of La Liga jersey for 2018-19 season and of course we're gonna hit the big one Real Madrid so then we have all three teams, all three biggies in Spain covered uh, by that time but uh, not the first team that we look at. Also, I am still doing this in summer. It is hot right under the roof. Um, if I have a very good shine on my skin, it's because of all the sweat pearls. <laughs> okay, let's get right to it. Um, the first team is actually a very small one, Wesca. I think it's called Wesca or Esca. I want to say Wesca. We have all the three jerseys here. Uh, let's focus on the home jersey these are also done by Kelme so you see uh, La Liga has a lot of Spanish manufacturers which again I like uh, we had Macron and uh, others in Italy there is I always like it when local manufacturers take over and yeah if you look at this uh, ad for all the three kids uh, you don't see the home jersey because it's very well hidden but I actually like the big and bold navy blue stripe over the red jersey and then we have of course navy sleeves and a nice red shirt collar with a navy blue outline so that actually looks nice maybe it's a little bit too bold the navy stripe could be the sash it could be a little bit um, thinner but yeah this is of course in reference to a similar sash that they have in the crest um, but yeah, and I assume there will be sponsors on there because without, without sponsors, this looks great. Uh, if there is a sponsor, but yeah, this is what I have to look at and great. And I think this looks pretty darn good. Let's say I would give it eight stars. Now the away jersey is the one, the white one with the red cross. Um, this is the St. George's flag. Um, so this will make great um, England jersey. I know that Inter has worn this look and that's what I see here and you know me and Inter not big friends but yeah this is a bold look uh, and I still do like it and I I also if I look at it I mean I don't see the crest very well here but the crest is very intricate and detailed I told you Spanish crests are something really really nice to look at of club teams I wish maybe the color was not all white with the red outline yeah but what else can you do here uh yeah also bold look i give this also eight stars now the third jersey with the black that kind of tries to imitate the sash as well but then switches and fades in and out it's a lot like a spanish 2014 uh, third jersey or away jersey it was the away jersey um that i was not too fond of of course i almost would have bought it but i was still not too fond of yeah it's it's a weird Yes, I know it pops a lot, and the, but it's a little bit black for black sakes, although I'm wearing here black Real Madrid jersey. Yep, nah, this is just a six. But yeah, for a small team, they have great jerseys. Another small team, uh, and I'm gonna mispronounce this one. I'm gonna, t I wanna, I mean, you know, the German English, I wanna say Leganes, but I think it's more Lehan Lehanes. Lehanes, I think, is how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments or send me a message. I tried to contact one of my brothers to help me with Spanish pronunciation, but he didn't pick up the phone. Yeah, the other one would have been an international call, so for something that's stupid, I'm not calling. Interesting. Uh, but I actually don't like the The stripes are all of different widths. Yes, at least they're symmetric, but uh, it's a little bit too crazy. And what is it? Is this the you have the uh, crest here on the left, and then there's the coat. Is this the coat of arms or some other crest? Or is it switched in the center? It's weird. I actually do like the color here. I also like that the gold is kind of nicely matching up, but the different width of the stripes of the blue stripes that's a little bit weird. Uh, also, the sleeves you know have the blue go all around. Yeah. This I think could be better, but I think still think even with the sponsor here, that could have been solved better. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna give this only uh, five. Ah, let's go six stars. It's not that bad. On to the away jersey, which actually looks very interesting and for what's worth better. 
Uh, yes, this is going to please the Italo file in me, but I actually really like the white. Then you have the two different um, areas with the red and the green on the other side and the nice tie-down collar. I think the tie-down collar is what uh, seals the deal for me. Also here I don't mind that the middle stripe is that white because you only have two other stripes that are prominent and it also you get a little feeling that it's also the sleeves are striped. I wonder where the green and the red are coming from but it's probably either the municipal or the county color so for that reason I'm assuming this now and that's why I will dish out the grade that I'm giving, but I think this is an eight star jersey. Also, it doesn't have a sponsor, which I find even more interesting. Now, the third jersey on the other hand, Homa, 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 what are you doing? This reminds me of a Liverpool away kit from 2014, 15, something like that. The collar looks all messed up. Then you have this properly black pattern. Ugh. No, sorry. That's it. If I gave uh, Athletic Madrid a one star, I have to give. Uh, it's a little bit nah. I'm between one and two. I'm between one and two here. Because it's not a big team, too. Two stars. But there's so much I don't like here. I don't like the color. I don't like the pattern. Uh, maybe the color combination is okay. I don't like everything monochromatic. The sponsor at least fits somewhat on there. Yeah, let's stay with two. And let's move on to the next team, Levante. Yep, Macron delivering another great kit and that's a Barcelona kit. That's actually pretty much this Barcelona kit and a better version of it if you look at the color. We'll look at this Barcelona kit soon, but that's basically this Barcelona kit. Uh, even down to the shadow strapping, but I love the color. Uh, I know Levante has the same colors. This is an awesome jer jersey. Awesome. Even the sponsor one line, uh, this looks big league. And Levante is not necessarily big league. This is a big league jersey. If that was the current Barcelona kit, that's a 10 star and it is still a 10 star here. Perfect. I love this one. Classic look through and through. Wonderful. Uh, the away kit <laughs> does the same thing in black and white. Oh, they are teasing me. If this was thinner stripes, like my favorite uh, team usually wears, Lusk, um, that would be even better. And I think the black and white, you know, it's uh, Levante is from the Valencia region, so that's a local colors there. I mean, Valencia is uh, wearing white and black. I love that they have the club colors here on the side, but it just doesn't look as great and I hate myself for saying this honestly but you know for the red and blue look uh, the white stripes look good but for black and white with white stripes it's just not as good looking yep uh, how much shall I give here I'm still gonna give this nine and I assume there will be a sponsor it's still it's it's great but I like the home kit honestly better the home kit looks look, home kit looks marvelous this one is uh, Maybe it's too plain. There's something just missing a little bit. And a third kit, yeah, that's also Barcelona away jersey. Levante, uh, hello. You're showing Barcelona how, how good kids are done. <laughs> no, but actually this one is a little bit too old for me. Uh, again, as a Barcelona away jersey, uh, I, would also, I would accept it, but there should be a little bit more in terms of uh, blue and red. It's just a six. I mean, it looks like a polo shirt. Well, we have another small team, Rayo Vallecano, and they have an interesting set. Every set has a slightly different crest They're going through the entire history. I mean, the home set is a classic Rayo Vallecano shirt. I just don't know why they need to put the black here on the collar and the sleeve and the sleeve cuffs, but uh, if that was white, it looks cool. I actually like that they have the crest also on the sash. But yeah, it's in a way it tries a little bit too much, and for that I'm only gonna give this a seven. The away jersey, I don't like the gold, other than that it does something very, something very similar, and the crest is not that different, it's just um, the 
letters on it are slightly different. Yeah, I don't like the golden. Uh, this is unfortunate. Ah, da, 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 da. I like that they put this crest along um, uh, over the sash, but I the six doesn't quite connect with me. And then the arrival kind of goes crazy with the colors here. Although there's a lot of symbolism here, so I'm also giving this a six despite the colors com being completely off. But they had a rainbow jersey. So uh, Rayo Vallecano at least has a reputation of producing colorful shirts. So that's why I give this also a six. And I like what they're doing. Uh, maybe the execution could be a little bit better. Uh, the home jersey is the best one, but again, I would get rid of the black shoulder stripes. And then we're at the big one. Real Madrid, three-time defending Champions League winner. Still cannot believe it. Um, and I still cannot believe, I mean, this is about as good a Real Madrid jersey as, as it can be. But I cannot believe they know their club world champions that they make a color where you have to again put the winner's badge up here. FIFA should demand it to be worn here. Any color be damned. I hate this. And Real Madrid keeps doing it. I think for one, uh, when they won it the first time in 2014, the next jersey actually could uh, take this into account. But other than that, as it goes for Adidas, uh, Real Madrid jersey is about as good as it gets. It is white. I like. I do like the color. I just wish that they would do something different with the club winner's crest. I mean, just get the Adidas logo here and have have the have this patch here. Let's do something differently. But I like the black uh, striping here. It makes so much sense. I mean, purple looks good, but I think it looks better in black than a very pinstripe around and everything else is just white. And of course, on the back, yes, this is the Real Madrid font that is sold in the stores, but you will not see it on the pitch. Maybe in the Champions League, you will see it. Uh, and I'm not sure if Modric will still be playing there because he wants to play for Inter for some reason. Well, that's a different story. Honestly, this is a great Real Madrid shirt. Just for the weird uh, club World Cup winners patch, I give this just a 9. But other than that, this is absolutely marvelous. Um, and yeah, the away jersey is black, like this one was. Uh, I almost want to say the same goes. No, it doesn't, because they have a weird color, and I don't like the gray and then the monochromatic crest. Uh, this drops it a little bit down in my personal view. Uh, even, yeah, and they have the same issue with the, again, the club winner's crest is up here. I don't like this. Yeah, here, the, here I think the gray is, make this white and you are something, or maybe this is even not a black, this is even a dark gray, I think. Uh, the whole jersey. This is not as great. I just give this a seven. I mean, it's a clean look, but um, tries a little bit too much. And then um, Real Madrid home and the away jerseys are usually well defined. You get, uh, you know, white and then you get a very dark color, sometimes a blue, sometimes a purple, sometimes a black. Uh, but then the third jersey, this is where they went crazy over the past years. Although with the away jerseys too, I mean, I remember the pink one and then they has had something orange too. Yeah, and now we get a red one. And this is similar to the Juventus uh, third jersey, which is was the steel gray with neon colors. This is on uh, Manchester United third jersey, it had the same the base design as well. So yeah, and I think Bayern will get something similar too. <sighs> Red and Real Madrid, it just doesn't fit well. And it tries to be smart and there are a few things, but no, 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 no. No, no, no. Just gonna give this. Yeah, <laughs> I. I want to go have a note. This is a four star jersey. I'm sorry. And I hope Real Madrid doesn't sell many of these. Uh, and I also hope, you know, what I said for Juventus winning the Serie A, I'm tired of Real Madrid winning the Champions League, especially if you have always the feeling that they're not the best team in the competition. That's something that gets me. Um, but now they have to, I don't even know what team they will be playing. Well, that's a story for another day. And yeah, let me know what you thought about all these jerseys. Um, whether you disagree with me or you agree with me. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.